today's video i want to teach you guys how to buy polygon based nft on OpenSea using usdc polygon network on trust wallet okay i already have the nft collection i want to buy from so but before i go into performing the steps i want to tell you guys something First of all, you need to have Matic, that is Polygon, which is the base currency for paying transaction fee on Polygon Network. That's number one. Number two is that you need to have at least, let's say the NFT you want to buy is $10. You need to buy at least $11 or $12 worth of USDC. Reason being that when you buy USDC, $1 is being deducted as transaction fee so if you bought eleven dollars you receive ten dollars if you bought twelve dollars you receive uh, you receive uh, eleven dollars in your trust wallet so that's why you see me having eleven dollars usdc polygon network and approximately two dollars worth of matic so having said that this is what you need to have before you now go ahead and want to buy the nft you want to buy so what i want to do let's dive straight into it so in my previous video i've shown you guys that you need to go to dabs and when you go to dabs you type in opensea.io okay i already have opensea open but i still have to go through the steps again for you guys to understand all right so apologies for the noise i'm doing this video in my car so please bear with me so first thing i want to do is i want to change the network to polygon network okay after doing that i'm going to go to my wallet and refresh it so that it sees my latest wallet so i'm going to refresh funds and i'm going to sign message okay which is normal so when you do that you tell your funds ref successfully refresh so you can see polygon you can see usdc okay and i i have a die polygon network in this wallet so having done that the next step is to go to the collection i want to buy from so i want to look for this collection under my name okay all right so I want to buy either of these or this okay so let me go and buy i don't know which i should buy but all right let me go and buy this okay let me go and buy this so right now uh this nft art uh does it have a price? Okay, it has a price at ten dollars. Okay. So, but there's no ultra to buy. All right, let me just go to this collection and see if I will buy another one. Okay, that has a price. So, um, let me go for this. Let me go for this. All right, so with this, I can just buy now. The other one doesn't have a buy now yet. So with this, if I click buy now, I have to go through this. Zero sales. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll verify that I want to buy this and I want to buy one quantity since all I have is $11 USDC. Okay, I click this and I click checkout. So when I click checkout, to ask me to unlock currency so if this is the first time you're trying to buy from from OpenSea, this unlock currency might lead to some errors so you just have to be patient with it so click unlock as you can see all right so just what you have to do is just make sure you click on one then try again same error So let me just, this normally happens if, if this is the first time your wallet is interacting with either trying to create a sales or trying to buy. 
Okay, so get, I'll be right back. All right, so if you are still having issue, because what it's supposed to do is that if it's, it's finally, if it's finally successful, it's going to open up a page where you just um, kind of approve. Okay, now this is only done once. Once your wallet has done it, then you have no issue. You won't experience it next time because all you have to do is just sign the message okay or sign and approve okay and the transaction is successful but right now uh because of how i don't want to stress the length of this video um i just want to leave it here so all that is well for you is just these two steps unlocking the currency which means giving approval so that your wallet can be debited whenever so that your wallet can be debited whenever you click you sign uh what's it called like a contract or something like that that executes the transaction okay because when you execute that transaction what happens is that it moves the the nft from your from the seller's account open c account to your open c account okay and then moves the pull usdc from your account to the seller's account that's how it works now for those of you guys who might experience this issue and you're looking for a way to like still buy my art, especially if you're buying the ads and promoting okay all you can do is just contact me privately or, or I, I you know what i'm saying contact me privately and we can do this transaction offline either directly through uh, on whatsapp or you go through my website which is chokobelago.com okay Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye for now.